Hello everyone, my name is Adere, and in this course we'll be learning about HTML, otherwise known as the language of the web. HTML stands for Hyper Text Markup Language. The latest and greatest version of HTML is HTML5. A markup language is a computer language that uses text to define elements within a document. HTML is best known for being used to create web pages. It's also a great language to learn if you're just starting out with coding. HTML is commonly written through a text editor. A text editor is a computer program that allows you to edit text. A text editor you might already be familiar with is Notepad because it is pre-installed if you're on a Windows machine. There are tons of text editors with their own pros and cons. The text editor I personally use is Notepad++. In the next couple of slides, we'll be learning some terms, just in case if you don't already know them. The first term is left angle brackets and right angle brackets. Together, we formally call these angle brackets. You may already recognize these from the greater or less than symbols. After that, we have two types of slashes, the forward slash, which is known as also just the slash, and the backslash. The next term is HTML elements. There's a huge amount of HTML elements, but here are just some we'll be covering soon. First, we have the HTML element, where all your HTML goes. Next, we have the P element, which is short for paragraph, where all your text will go. Then, we have the H1 element, which is where your title might go. After that is the head element, where your external links like JavaScript and CSS would go. Second to the last is the body element, where all your web page content goes. Last is the image element, where your images would go. Finally, we have the most important term, HTML tags. There are two types of tags, closing tags and opening tags. Opening tags consist of three things, the first being the left angle bracket, the second being the element, and the third being the right angle bracket. Closing tags, on the other hand, consist of four things. First, the left angle bracket. Second, the forward slash. Third, the element. And fourth, the right angle bracket. There are very few exceptions for things that don't follow the start and end tag rule. We will be discussing a few examples next class. The last thing we are covering in today's class is HTML structure. To the left, I have a simple example of what the structure of your HTML code may look like. You can compare the structure of the HTML code to that of a taco. Because of the way the tags wrap, the HTML tag would be like the shell of the taco, and everything else inside would be the ingredients. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new or had fun. I'll hopefully see you next class.